Whom do we resemble in our life? Are we like Judas or like Jesus? My dear friend, we have the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 1 to 11 for our reflection today. Jesus replied, It is intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. Today's Gospel serves as a beautiful prelude to the passion of Jesus. Jesus is back in the house of his best friends, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus recently brought back from the dead. Perhaps these are his last moments of companionship before the horrors that are to come. Martha is an active hostess. Mary, the contemplative, brings in a jar of expensive perfume, pours it all over the feet of Jesus, filling the room with fragrance. It is interesting to see how this act of Mary is observed by Judas and Jesus. Judas, spiritually blind materialist, regards this as a waste. He covers his own thievery with words of humble piety. He pleads for the poor while lining his own pocket. He seeks to raise his standing with Jesus by humiliating Mary. The genius of Judas. Don't we resemble most of the time the genius of Judas in our life when we try to justify our own selfishness and rationalize our acts? Jesus, on the other hand, considers this as an act of supreme love. For him, it was a symbolic act of anointing his body after the burial. Dying as a criminal, they would not anoint the body. In fact, Jesus' body was not anointed after the burial. By the time the women came to anoint, he was risen. Whom do we resemble in our life? Are we like Judas or like Jesus? Heavenly Father, give us the grace to resemble Jesus in our life and come out of our selfishness and the genius of Judas. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.